Jesus. Hello, my name is Jesus Medina. I'm here at Seabreeze Fitness in Costa Mesa, California with Team Moore. Today we're going to work on building speed through, get this, get this. We're going to build speed through training in slow motion. Alright, so basically we're going to be moving in slow motion. The reason why we're going to do that is we, uh, we're going to use a double limb bag and a very, very loose one. Look how loose it is. Alright, it goes everywhere. It's way, way loose. But we're going to be moving really, really slow on this to build comfort. Comfort within chaos. If we can summon comfort even through chaos, that means we're going to be, um, you know, uh, less tension in our body, which means what? More relaxed muscles, which means less pain, which means more clear thought. So we're going to build comfort with this bag today. We're going to go from bag to mitt work. On the, on the, on the bag, is in, on the double end bag, it's going to be extremely slow stuff. Very methodical, really, really slow. It's going to also build patience. So you can uh, pick out your shots properly. It's going to show you how to move properly when you're inside fighting. After you're done, we're done with here, we're going to go with mitts. And we're going to, you know, actually apply it in more realistic terms. You know, maybe we're going to be moving at 100%, be hitting at at least 60. Uh, uh, the trainees are going to be taking shots at like normal, at 40%. Just enough, enough to feel that little bit of discomfort so they can start building that confidence uh, and comfort within chaos. All right, so what we're gonna do today here on the double end bag, I want you guys, we're gonna hit it really, really slow. But this, what this is gonna teach us is, all right, so you don't wanna, if you're gonna be inside fighting, you don't wanna extend your punches out like that. It takes a long time to hook this way, to shoot a straight shot. Why would you wanna do that when you're so close? Why would you wanna lean back to wrist and throw that shot as it's back for your back? Uh, um, you know, the only other thing is just working counter, doing that, that Spartan thrust, that, that Spartan shove, boom, then hit. But aside from that, what we're going to teach is we're going to stay really, really close and we're going to position our body to make us hit so that our, our, our gloves are close to our chin the whole time. So basically, in order to throw a hook, you're going to lean over, all right? Lean over and position that arm already. So see how I'm still guarded here? Just a little bit of an opening I create, but it's only going to be for a split second in real time. Right now, we're going to be moving really slow, so it's going to look like this. So I'm going to lean over, boom, it's going to punch. If I go the opposite, the same way, but uppercut, all right? So see how my arms are barely moving, all right? And they're always on, that, on my chin the whole time. See how I'm being covered down here, all right? So I'm positioning my body to hook, to uppercut, uppercut. I'm pushing up with my legs to do the hitting for me. So I'm not swinging, 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 all right? Because that takes a lot of energy and your guard is, is exposed, I mean, uh, your body is exposed for, for a little bit too long. All right, so basically that's what we're going to be doing. Another thing we're going to be doing is, is staying literally really, really, really fuck, well, extremely close to it. All right, so and then what we're going to do with this is all right, we're going to hit it once, kind of hookish, all right, with the hook. All right, and some of you say there's no right hook in, in boxing, or not all of you, but some of one, one, I'm sorry to say you're an idiot. Uh, you said that you're, there's no right hook in boxing. Are you kidding me? He, I mean, for one, let, or, uh, uh, southpaw. What the fuck is this? Isn't that a right hook, right, all right? And maybe you meant to say there's no right hook for an for a orthodox boxer, a, a right-handed boxer. In all reality, there is. If you feel that way, I feel sorry for you for limiting yourself like that because you can shoot over many shots We're making a right hook. Even though it's so far away, you can maneuver your body properly in order to hit that right hook. And there is a freaking right hook, trust me. Um, anyhow, so the way we're going to do is to stay really, really close, right? And you're just going to hit it once with the right hook and watch how the, the bag's going to come around and boom, hit me here. If I am not patient and try to hit it too fast, alright, it's going to come back and hit me. Alright, so watch how this goes, alright? So I'm going to go really, really slow in my movements, but hear the taps, hear the, the taps. You're going to hear one punch, tap, and then tap again, which means the ball is coming around and hitting me again. That's where I'm talking about where we're going to build confidence, we're going to build comfort within chaos, alright? So this is what it looks like, alright? I know it looks really slow, but see how it's starting to hit me now? That little tap is going to build confidence. Look how I'm always with my guard up, alright?
And then you can uh, eventually start doing it for the left side as well. It's a little bit harder for right-handers, but you can do it. And little by little, you'll feel that little rattle, and you'll start to build confidence that you can take a shot as long as you're pressing it against your chin. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but as, as I hit it once, it comes around and taps again because it hits me. That one did it, that one did it, that one did it. And I know you might be thinking, like, how the hell is that going to work in real boxing? Well, like I said, we're only training to get used to being, uh, to building comfort. We're this close to the damn ball, all right? And we're moving around, and we're tr uh, trusting our guard to do our job for us. Once we're comfortable with that, trust me, we're not going to do unnecessary movements. You're going to keep your guard at all times, and you're going to build speed that way because you're going to trust your guard. All right, so once again, nice and smooth, and just barely move, really, really slow. And you can do uppercuts as well, just very little, just enough so that you can stay there and it doesn't move around too fast. That way you build your confidence little by little. And see how this will teach you to not close your eyes when you're getting hit. All right, because when we train, I'm going to teach you how to dampen the punches. So it's going to be the equivalent to getting hit to this because when you see a punch coming, you know, you're going to, you know, spring back a little bit and kind of lean back so that it doesn't hurt. Same with the body. You just go with it a little bit. So yeah, you take the shot, but you can boom, recall it back, all right, and that's going to make your opponent kind of lose his equilibrium, not his equilibrium, but his balance a little bit, and you can capitalize on that. Same, same here uh, with this. You know, that little tap is going to get you used to that little tap, that discomfort, but it's going to show you how you can keep your eye. On the on the ball, which is you know equivalent to the your opponent's head, and that way you're not closing your eyes when you're getting punched. Because trust me, when you when you try it, when you go like this and you feel it, it, it doesn't hurt, but you feel that little rattle. That's going to be the equivalent to getting shot unless you're you know like this, like that Ortiz bullshit. You know where your hands are way down, and you get clearly shot. There's there's no way you can dampen that. But if you see that shot coming, trust me, your body naturally, whether you're skilled or not, is, is going to make you move just enough. And if you know what you're doing, you're going to move the proper way to where you won't get knocked out. But if you know what you're doing, you're going to move just enough to where if it hits you, you know it's just going to barely feel exactly the way this feels right now. And then if you get used to this. When you, when you know that punch is coming, you're not going to close your eyes, boom, to take that shot. You know, that, in, that habit is going to go away. You're going you're gonna, to, um, you know, build yourself out of the habit. But basically, that's what we're going to do. And then the mitts, I'll show you that in a bit, how we're going to work that. Um, uh, this, it's common sense, but I'm going to show you even though how we're going to use this and make it practical when we do the actual mitts. So once again, we're going to build speed through being slow because when we're slow we, we learn how to build confidence through, uh, through chaos. We learn how to summon confidence even though there's chaos around. I mean uh, comfort I meant to say. We learn to summon comfort. That way when we're comfortable, we're nice and relaxed even though there's all this stuff happening. One good boxer that kind of did that a lot was uh, 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 Salvador Sanchez. Rest in peace, he died when he was really young. Uh, he would have been the best boxer, better, uh, better than Pacquiao, trust me. Well, he, they would have been the same level because they're not in the same uh, era. But trust me, he would have been better than, uh, than Pacquiao. He was only 23, 24 when he died. Anyhow, the other person that does it very well is uh, uh, um, Julio Cesar Chavez. Nice and smooth and relaxed and doesn't waste any energy. And um, he barely moves around, takes his shots, but he, he gives it back. But that's because he built... Uh, comfort and chaos, you know, he just moves around, he trusts his guard, and he's barely moving, you see all these punches just going everywhere, and they're tapping him, but he knows how to move properly, so they just dampen the punches, and they're not hitting him much, making his opponent waste his energy, and, you know, making him uh, misdirect them, and then as soon as they, they throw a punch a certain way he wants them to, that's when he'll do, boom, you know, those two body shots, and then over the head to knock him out, uh, uh, Julio Chavez did. But anyhow, uh, that's what we're going to do. do here, is build com uh, comfort, through chaos, so we stay relaxed, that means more loose muscles, that means less pain we will feel, all right, and then that means uh, more clear, clear of the thought, so that means that's where the speed comes in, once your thoughts are clear, and you can trust your, your guard and stuff like that, all right, and once again, this is for Inside Fighting.